Hey guys and welcome back to yet again another Season 10 Educational Gameplay Guide guys. Today we're going to be covering Cho'Gath Top Lane. So with that being said, we're up against a Victor Top Lane. That's actually quite interesting. That's a big counter for us actually. Uh, let's see if I can get like one a single auto. Okay, I couldn't. So for the wounds, I recommend you guys to pick up Grasp of the Undying with Demolish, taking the Bone Plating with Overgrowth. That's like the main page that you want to go for. You can also go into a different page that will have slowest, but generally, uh, Grasp of the Undying is actually one of the best pages for Jogat because it's pretty safe and it's actually pretty good in most matchups. I want to get that CS, but it's going to be risky. There we go. As for the secondary, you want to take free boots with the uh, Biscuit Delivery because it gives you mana permanently and it also gives you cookies, which can help you in the laning phase too. Now, as for the full build and as for the full build, uh, full runes and everything, I'll leave it all in the description. So definitely make sure to check it out. And with that being said, this is one of the worst matchups for Cho'Gath to be in ever. This is a really bad matchup, at least for the pre six. Um, so long as we don't get the first item, yet yeah, we're going to be. It's going to be really difficult because Victor can like poke all day. Um, Victor can literally poke all day, and there's absolutely 0% that we can do in this game to avoid getting destroyed in the early game. This is like one of the worst matchups ever. But, with that being said, the good thing is that Cho'Gath actually outskills the Victor pretty hard after one item, as in, like, we can just run up to him and we can actually kill him for free. So. We're going to have to play as safe as we can in the early game until we get the first item, which will help us win this entire laning phase. Also, Cho'Gath skills up a lot better than Victor. Like, a lot better in every single way. So, it's just a matter of... Huh? Did he just teleport when standing close to me? Okay, he just he just teleported when I could literally just pop a Q on this guy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, fine. As for like the skill order, you can actually s decide whatever you want to max out first because all of them are pretty good. You could be maxing out your Q first if you want to. Like it's actually pretty good for uh, poking with your Q. Um, but what I would recommend you guys doing most of the time when playing Cho'Gath is maxing your W if you want to have really good poke and damage. And max your E first if you want to have like really good wave clear and all and like all in potential together. Maxing your E into W into Q is in my opinion the best skill order for Cho'Gath. So just follow that if you guys are not sure. Okay. So this guy can poke whatever he wants to. But um, we can sustain everything back through the passive and everything so it's it's going to be pretty difficult for victor to take us down here he's out of mana right now so we have to take the opportunity right here okay i'm just holding on to my combo a little bit okay i should have um replaced my w just a little bit but whatever as soon as we get the first item this is going to be a free lane for us so Nice. They also have Kane in the jungle who can potentially run over the entire wall to gank us. But I think we should be fine because even if they come in, I can just pop my Q and and the gank is going to be completely worthless. But yeah, the early game with Cho'Gath is definitely the hardest part about this matchup. Like, it's definitely the hardest part. Cho'Gath early game is not that amazing. Like, his, his early game is pretty bad, but... As soon as you get the first item, which will be the Lighter's Glory, if you get that item, it's going to be a piece of cake. Whatever matchup you're in, it's going to be very easy. I almost, I almost got my ultimate. Okay. Nice, we got him. So... In this matchup, like, Victor can poke us as much as he wants to. He can poke all day. And it's going to be very, very difficult to play against. But in this case, uh, Victor actually used up all of his mana. 
and he was already like at like 80% health so it was only a matter of time until um, until I hit my Q like I was just simply waiting for my level 6 so my all-in would be the strongest and then it was just a matter of just popping my Q getting my E off and then just chasing uh, Victor down basically uh, now we can push it very easily nice so we have actually we have got like a huge amount of gold right now. That's really good. I don't think he's gonna pass it in here. Okay, now we can buy the first item. There we go. And now we can we could teleport down there. We we could do it, but let's see. Yeah, I don't I don't wanna miss out on the entire wave because if if he continues to push right now, I cannot do anything about it, so. I want to keep it in here. Very good. The wave is in a really good spot right now. Nice. Okay, now it's a matter of finding a new opportunity to all in this guy. I also got a control ward, which I can use at any time right now. But. For now, like the best job right now is just to just to stay here. I could use my my ultimate on the creeps like any time right now. Just do it now. I'll just be scaling right now. Wait for my next item. As soon as I get my item, I'll just use my ultimate on him instead, and we just get a free kill. We don't want to push too hard, so I'm not going to use my E right here. Next time you want to be maxing your W after maxing your E. Okay. We currently have the same farm like Victor, which is really good because he's in the. Victor is supposed to have more farm than us because he's much better in poking in general. Nice. They're fighting there right now, so I'll just be moving up here. We can take him down. If he goes this way, I can pop my Q. I don't think it's gonna pass this way. Is it? Nah, it's not gonna pass that way. The good thing for us, like, he just got catch right now. Now we can actually push him all the way, but we do have to make sure the wave is gonna be in a good spot because he's actually got his uh, teleport up at the moment. Nice. Okay. We can push up the next wave. Right now as well. His teleport is still up. We gotta remind this. Nice. And we've got that. We've got the entire wave as well. And we got that one plating which is going to put us ahead actually. I don't think I'm gonna get out of here. I don't think I will be. He's cutting me all the way down. Yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. It was pretty risky what we've been doing. In fact, um, we could have prepared ourselves for this. We could have actually went in inside their, uh, the enemy jungle to place a war down. To actually make this work to be safe. But I've tried to do the very much best I can to be pushing this in entirely. And then getting the, the one plating. It's not, it's like, it's a kind of a risky because if he happened to come around like he did now, then obviously you can predict what's going to happen. Uh, wait, I'll just get one more. You can pretty much predict what's going to happen there. Either he didn't gank, we get one plating, we push in the entire wave, it would be really good. So it would actually benefit us like a lot. Or he would actually come over, gets the kill, and allows Victor to be pushing it entirely. So. It was kind of risky. It was not the best choice. I'll be using my ultimate here just to stack it up, uh, stack up my uh, ultimate a little bit. We can start fighting the victor now. We can literally pop the, the glory and just all in this guy. Nice. I've got my ultimate coming back again soon. 
We could actually try to kill the uh, Victor right here. Okay, no problem. I don't think he's gonna pass here, you see. Nice. That's pretty good, actually. He could pop his ultimate. Okay, I just want to be safe here. Don't I, I want to make sure that I actually get out of life there. Otherwise, it would be pretty bad for us. There are no wards on here, so I can use the wave to heal myself back up eventually. That's really good. Okay. No problem. I can heal this. Yeah, he has to poke quite a lot to bring me down now, because I could constantly use my passive. Nice. Okay, here we go. We've also got some more help coming over from Riven too. Use my ultimate now. Thank you very much. There's like 700 gold right there. That's pretty good for us. Also using uh, our ultimate on Cyan so we can get the stack. Now I can go back again. Come back even stronger. Really, really good. We can still get four more stacks on the on the creeps as well. So obviously the next item you want to buy is going to be this one. Right here. This item is actually really, really good this game. Uh, I will also buy some more armor and we can also buy Contra Ward. Now considering that we've actually been in a matchup where a Victor actually pokes a lot. I don't I can TP there. So now like considering that we've been a been a matchup where we actually get poked a lot, we've actually got decent farm. Like like especially with all the fights that happen and everything, the farm we have is only decent. I could all in this guy at any time right now. Let's see if he's willing to try. As soon as he comes over I can just pop my ultimate. I I mean I can pop my item. And we can fight him instantly. Oh, he actually went back to base right now. Okay, that's fine. I can push it in entirely and then reset. Really good. Just like this. This way you can easily shove in the wave. I'm not gonna hit the turret because that's once again really risky. You would get into the same thing that we've did previously. We can drop a ward down right here. We're just going to cover the blue buff, but we'll also cover the enemy jungle here on the, the entire top side, so we can see it coming. Mm, one E is enough. Only one E is enough, really. Like, If he doesn't want to try, it's no problem. Alright. He doesn't want to try now, but as soon as we get back to full health, we can try again. As soon as we hit one Q, and we pop like an E auto attack with and just canceling it with my E, we can easily all in the sky again, get a free kill that way. But we have to hit our Q to make it happen. I'm just gonna use my ultimate right here just to get the just to get the scaling. I just missed the cannon. Wow. Second game today. Alright. Like this is the kind of playstyle that Joe Get really has. The early game is just really bad, but like after the first item and after like getting to the mid game, everything is going to change very soon. We're, we're becoming like a monster right now. Uh, my jungler was here. We could have we could have fought the, could have fought him, but Victor knew. There we go. Put the next point into my W. I can TP here at any time right now and help them out. It's. I have to take a look though. Okay. I think he has warts down here. Yeah, he's got warts for sure. No problem. Okay. We have to go for this fight right here. We've got the glorious, uh, Riders Glorious. We, we got it up right now. 
And these guys are fighting right here. So now is the moment. We're gonna have to take this. Pop the ultimate. Get the stack. Then backing off again. Like, this is the kind of thing that you want to be focusing on when playing Cho'Gath. The early game, just farming up, trying to see if you can get like potentially get a few kills. But once a team fight comes in, you want to make sure you actually get the stacks of your ultimate. So you can keep scaling as Cho'Gath, because that's like the most important thing. Getting the perma health uh, is really important. Okay, I got you. Yeah, thank you. He was very scared because my jungler was coming here as well. Nice. Now we can push in all the way. Again. The the hardest part of Chokeout is basically done now. I like how Victor didn't even try. He didn't even try to fight me. <laughs> Alright, let's take the next wave and then we can go back after. Nice. There we go. They're like constantly fighting there, but I have to buy my item. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Nothing we can do about him. So, after buying the Vitus Glory as well as the uh, Stone Plate, your next item is most likely going to be this one. There we go. Uh, we can actually teleport right here, but it's once again, it's like we're being outnumbered. We're completely being outnumbered there. So, we do, I don't want to fight this. It's not very good for us. So, now we can use our ultimate on one of the following creeps, because there's honestly not, not really happening that much around the map right now. We can just use our ultimate on the next one. Uh, there's nothing we can do about him. I, I mean, I could pop my other story and then just go in, but it's not going to do that much. I don't want to fight them right now, to be honest. Okay, here we go. I'm going to hold my item for a while. I still have my item here. Nice. Okay, there's nothing I can do about him. I still have my item here, but I'll just go back. I'll back off now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to back off because they can easily kill me with a single combo right now. Instead of making our way back to base, I'll be going top lane real quick and get like another stack uh, of my ultimate down there. I think they might actually know that I'm here. So I think they might actually know. Let's see. It could be. There's a big chance it could be. Oh. I need a bit more. There we go. Now we have one more stack needed for my ult to be maxed out for getting like creeps and stuff. So we're going to go back to base again. This time we're going to be buying the warm walks as the next item which is going to help us being even more tanky. I'll just sell this right now because I, I honestly I don't really need that. Uh, I'll just get this right now. There we go. There's a TP coming in at this moment. It's TP2, so TP2 just to be faster. There we go. Like they can't really beat me right now because I'm too I'm too strong, I'm too tanky. I'll just get Sion down first. I'm trying to like um, focus the victor while this happens. Hmm. Wait. I've got my glories again. Okay, that's not looking very good. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here at this point. Oh! That was pretty close. So the thing is, the reason why I couldn't really uh, fully use 
the stone play right here uh, is because they aren't actually focusing me. Like, they're not focusing me at all. In fact, they're actually, uh, so far in the team fight, they've all been focusing everyone except for me. They've been focusing, trying to focus on all my teammates, but not on me. Because obviously, uh, if they focus me, I could pop this item any time. I'll get like so much health. Uh, it's it's going to be useless for them. So whenever they start focusing us, we have to use this item immediately because it's it's what helps us basically. All right, here, let's go. Nice. That's really good. We can get one more, um, one more stack on the ultimate then we have like then we're fully maxed out there we go i'll just use it now so we can get that over with these guys are fighting here right now i'll be making my move real fast here i can pop my uh right of score right here okay here we go using my q and w on two targets at the same time now unfortunately nice Unfortunately, I couldn't hit both of them with my QW, but if you're in a team fight with Cho'Gath, you want to try to make sure that you can hit multiple targets with your Q and W. The more targets you can hit, the better it is within team fights. You basically want to um, get as much done, get as much CC down as possible, as well as uh, trying to like disable all the abilities with your W from the enemy team. That's the most important thing. Uh, we could actually try to get a catch here, but I need my teammates here too, so... Alright. I'll just be walking over mid lane. So for the next item that we're going to get is obviously going to be an adaptive helm. Like, that item is honestly like so good, especially in a game like this one where they have Victor. Nice. Group up. I just need the teammates to be grouping up right now and eventually start the Baron. I just need them to be five. I would like to get that plan here. I'd like to get it. No, I just got my, uh, got my mana back. Now we can actually try to catch some people. I also got my rank check coming up soon. I've got my Rider's Lore already. Like, oh, I try to pop the ultimate there, but that was unfortunate. There we go. Got him. I'm going to have to walk past. All right. We're going to have to. I could have popped my ultimate a little bit earlier uh, on the Rakan. I was trying to, like, kind of save it out for Victor, but then I realized, like, oh, wait, I can just use it on, on Rakan. I really want to use my ultimate on Victor, but we just focused him first, and I didn't really want that, so... I'm gonna stay with these guys. Okay. We will be going back to base very soon to buy the next item, which is going to be the adaptive helm, so which we can find right here. Very good. Like, look how tanky we already are with this build. We may not do that much damage, like most of the damage actually comes from the ultimate. The Q is just a CC thing, like W is only to disable their abilities. So basically peeling for them. But the ultimate is what does damage. It's, even if you do, even if you use this item, we still do the same amount of damage because it's true damage. So, And look how tanky we are. We, we got nearly like 4.5k health already. It's just insane. Okay, let's see what we can do here. I can pop my item right here. Okay. We can keep this up for days, to be honest. Okay. Trying to get like as much time down as possible. Get multiple targets. Okay. Let's 
Like, you see what we can do, guys. We've been tanking this for days, to be honest. Like, I've got my E coming up in like 5 mana. Yeah, it's gonna be able to guide me down. There's probably nothing I can do about this. Yeah, he, he, he has me. Yes. But as you guys can see, as you guys can see guys, we've been tanking the team fight for almost an entire minute until my teammates were finally there to catch up, to actually get something done. Um, within the team fight so in a 1v1 situation up against the victor we may not be able to do that much but as for like a team fight we can tank the enemy team for years especially if we but if we proc the item like the stone plate if we use it if we activate it we can proc it like we can stay there for years that's the most important thing about choget that's why choget top lane is actually being played such a such a good uh, champion, guys. Honestly, uh, I could TP there. I could TP there right now, but I'm not going to because there's nothing to TP to, to be honest. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see. Okay, great. I couldn't do much more. So this time, they were all focusing me. I wanted to get my item off, but there was like so much CC and everything. But despite that, we've TP'd down there. We've been able to help out my teammates for a long time. This kind of shows you guys like what Cho'Gat is capable of. Even if five, te like even if five people from the enemy team are focusing you, it's very, very difficult for them to actually get you down. And that's what this champ is about. So in some cases like this one, it kind of comes down to my teammates um, repositioning themselves and then becoming useful. Uh, like we, as our job, it's simply to tank everything and doing like the Qs and the Ws. But it, now it kind of comes down to my teammates um, repositioning themselves and getting useful. I need like 40 gold for my next item. I kind of want to get my item, but... Okay, I can go back to base right now and buy my next item. We will have this. I want to get like, get like one CS down, but we got it already, so... Good. Nice. So, we still have one item to go right here. We currently have 4.8k health. We have a lot of health. And... The best thing of all, we can get one more item, so we can get even more tanky. And our last item is going to be the Thornmail. Okay, the best hope we have right now is to um, start a fight in mid. We have to start a good fight. A good team fight will get us the Baron for free. Okay. Nice. Okay. There's nothing we can do right here. So, once again, we focus Victor. We got Victor, which is the primary target because Victor is currently the most fed of their team. He's doing the most damage. Uh, the only problem though, is that my team basically got caught in that team fight. Like I ran for Victor, we got that kill. But the problem is that the rest of the enemy team were able to get to my team. So they all died before I did. And then again, it kind of come down, comes down to them positioning properly right behind me. Because in a case like this one, where we actually got Victor, they should have like kind of ran up to us. 
So we could finish the job there, but it's it's no problem. Um, I can go for this one right now. The final touch is now going to be the Thor Mill. That item is going to allow us to tank even more and also for the enemy team to take or receive damage. Put this guy right here. Okay. Now we got more health. We got 5.5k health right now, guys. That's insane. It's not a good team fight because we don't actually have Riven with us at the moment. I'll take him and back off. Okay, at least I took the catch and then we just backed off after. There's nothing we can do here. It kind it really comes down to my teammates right now. That's all. Okay, we might be able to get a catch right here on this guy. Let's see. Nope. Yeah, we got him. But then, like the second, I have my ultimate too. No, he actually lived with like 10 HP or something like that. That's that's unfortunate. That that's really unfortunate. So what we can try to do is teleport down there and see if we can run behind them. Then again, it's difficult to do. Okay. It comes down to my team, guys. There's nothing more we can do. There's nothing more. We can only keep this up for a while. We cannot really split push that much. Because if we are going to split push, my team will be vulnerable to all ends. Which is something we don't want. Got him. I still have my Rider's Glory. Got him. Good. This pretty much came down to my teammates doing it properly. But I've also appealed for them really, really good. I mean, I don't know what he's trying to do, to be honest. Like, we can just go back to base here. Okay, now we are pretty much like full build. We have 6.5k health, 6576. And this is pretty much the max we can go. We are actually on our strongest right now. The only thing we can do right now is get more stacks on the ultimate. But this is as far as we can go, guys. This is as far as Joker can go. This is like the strongest. Now it comes down to pushing mid and forcing things. Nice. It all comes down to grouping mid right now and just force. I know top lane is being pushed in, but it's not that big of a deal yet. First, we have to kind of get rid of top lane. Like, Riven is still splitting bot lane, which is not very smart because there's nothing to split there. Like, top lane should be the one that should be splitted. Alright. The only thing we can do right now is to stay in mid lane and wait for my team to actually, like, split top. Because... We don't do any damage right now. Our wave clear is really bad because it's it, our wave clear is not going to help clearing top lane, you know? It's not going to help at all.
push top lane and coming mid lane is what I say. Okay. We can force here. Oh. That's our ADC. We're just going down there. Nice. Uh, we can we can we can chase her down all the way. We still do a lot of damage on AD carries. Nice. So like I've mentioned before. Like I've mentioned before. <laughs> we are unstoppable. As you guys could see, we have so much damage. Our ultimate is so strong. They cannot really do anything about us in the in the in the team fights. We got too much health. We got 6.9k health at the moment, which is just huge. Okay, here we go. Getting the hypno right now. We can get one more. It's almost focusing me first. If their enemy Jonah comes in, we can we can stop him temporarily. All right, good. Now I can back off again. Like this is the kind of place how you want to have them playing Cho'Gath. You just want to be grouping mid lane in games like this, because split pushing is not going to work. It just doesn't. Okay, so I'm gonna buy the item right here. Now we can go mid lane and we can see if we can actually finish because this is this is the moment right now. Here we go. Also Ash, I think Ash is getting the Guardian's Angel right now. Oh yeah, I actually got another item. Okay. It all comes down to starting a team fight now. Next dragon will spawn. We can force them out of the dragon pit. Okay, that's really good. Okay, I mistimed my ultimate. I mean, I can tank this for days, to be honest. Look at this. I can chase this for a long time. Nice. And there we go. We just need one more. If I... Nah, okay, I can't chase because I ran out of mana. Okay, we can fight her now. Yeah, she's not going to be able to dodge this. There we go. Got her. <laughs> the, the plant actually got me the kill right there. <laughs> Alright, we, we got 20 kills right now. We have 7.1k health right now. Like, that's so much. There's nothing that the enemy team can do right now at all. It's it's a, it's done for these guys. It's completely done for them. Uh, we can rebuy the potion here. We got this guy. He's nowhere to go. Uh, the dragon is about to be taken by this guy here. Alright, good. Finish. We can finish it right now because the enemy team is down right now for about 50 seconds. Here we go. 
We don't even have to take the Baron to be honest, but we can, we can just go mid. Yeah, 7.1k health is like so much. This champion is actually broken in the late game. I don't even feel the tower to be honest. All right, now we can finish. I'll just tank it. I can't even pop my item right now. Okay. Anyways, this is uh, pretty much how you play Choget top lane. Honestly, it's a pretty broken champion. It's pretty broken. Let's face it, guys. Late game is so strong. Anyways. Once again, you can find your 4 wins for build. You can find all in the description. Don't forget to check out my Discord server if you guys want to join the giveaways, uh, community events. Like, there are some really cool things coming soon. Also, don't forget to follow my Instagram if you've got any kind of questions. And lastly, don't forget to follow my, twi uh, my Twitch if you guys want to see, like, Challenge Elo gameplay. Anyways, thank you for watching. And I'll catch you guys up next time. Peace.